loving and embracing God. You are God of the universe and all creation. You create and give life and see that your creation is good. We praise you for your gift of the Moana, which covers most of the surface of your planet Earth. We thank you for the oceans of the world. We thank you for the flowing of the oceans into one another and around the continents and islands. We thank you for the life giving of the oceans, for the oxygen, food and resources they continually provide. We thank you that the ocean is home for most species, small and great. We are people of the Moana. Our ancestors navigated by the stars and crossed the waves to find new homes. The voice of waves breaking on the reef speaks of your constancy and your love and your care for creation. May we hear the cries of sea creatures endangered by the selfish greed of humanity. May there be deep listening to the voice of waters rising to and calf land. May ears be open to the groaning caused by refusal to honor creation. May ears be open to suffering caused by a love of power which destroys. We beat a loud drum alerting people around the world to the danger of climate change which threatens nature and human life. We blow a cons calling for the worship of a life-giving God of immense goodness. Our forebears set out across the ocean. We set out on a venture to protect our home, the planet Earth. Help us to challenge short-sighted greed. Help us to address unjust structures and practices and to change our relationship with creation to one of care. We affirm our guardianship of the precious gift of creation. We have a vision. We have courage. We have your guidance. We have the presence of the risen one whose power to love is greater than all the power of destruction. Grant that together we may bring peace to our planet Earth, to its many creatures and its many people. We lot to, in the name of our God, Creator, Redeemer and Life-Giving Spirit. Amen. Loving and embracing God, you are the God of the universe and all creation. We come together in the aftermath of a severe tropical cyclone Winston 
and Cyclone Zina. In Fiji, on hillside after hillside, trees stand like crosses. Trees are stripped off foliage by ravaging winds. Palms are bent and broken. There is flooding and destruction of vegetation and coral. Our people suffer. Loss of loved ones, loss of homes, loss of crops and livelihood. You do not desert us. Even now, bring us the glimmering of a new dawn for creation and for humanity. You were with us in the devastation. You are with us as we emerge to reach out to one another. You are with us as we begin to heal and rebuild shattered lives and communities. Our people with resilience are rising to the challenge of sharing what they have. We thank you that we are part of the wider world. We thank you for the nations who are alongside us and are sending relief. We thank you for outpourings of generosity and compassion. We pray for the moving together of peoples of the world in the addressing of the causes of destruction to human life and creation. You were with our people in Paris when the nations came together to address urgent issues arising from the climate change. You gave us perseverance and strength. You enabled our voices and the vulnerability of our situation to be heard. Hearts were moved. There was a recognition that those most deeply affected by climate are interconnected with the wider world. You enable us all to agree to reduction of global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. We give thanks that in Paris, peoples of the world made decisions which set out to stem the, the destruction of our common home and bring life. We give thanks that you are with us in our gathering together today. You are with us as the risen one, the one who has defeated the powers of destruction and death. You speak to us words of great strength and peace. May the risen one bring us a deep vision, deep as the ocean of your loving purposes, so that we may continue to work together for the well-being of all peoples and planet Earth. In these islands, we know the forces of destruction as a result of global warming. We ask that the creative and life-giving wind of your spirit move within us and move us forward. We ask that we are guided in the way of your peace and in the connectedness for humanity and creation.
life-giving God, we pray in your name. The waves of the ocean of God's love embrace and carry us forward. With Christ our navigator, may we voyage courageously. The spirit of peace and power flow within and around us to strengthen and guide us through calm and storm. Amen.